What's going on YouTube? This is Freon the Frozen. I'm about to go ahead and do a tutorial on how to use virtual audio cable. As you can see, I have a folder already set out. Um, when I went ahead and downloaded this program, um, this is what I got. Um, and of course, I set it up. You know, you go ahead and install the program. You install the program. Once you've installed the program, you get a couple things. You want you go to your programs, you go to audio cable, and then you get these two. But I've already set it up, set them up uh, for shortcuts. So control panel. Obviously, I can't do that because I already have it here. So um, this is what what the program is going to look like. This is a, the control panel. Uh, you can basically this program what it does you can go ahead and reroute the different audio signals uh, through virtual cables hence virtual audio cable alright so uh, you can set up uh, many cables uh, in this case uh, if you um, in this case I'm only using one alright so basically what I'm about to show you is how to use this with the uh, DigiDesign inbox 2 and for those of you that do not know what the hell I'm talking about that's a, a interface that you get when you purchase um, this interface and it's uh, supposed to be used uh, with Pro Tools uh, which is an, um, a DAW program where you can go ahead and create music if you didn't know I am a musician uh, singer songwriter a lyricist uh, so I make music and I use that alright so basically um, once you get the program you need one cable this kinda is, is by default thank God so it wasn't too hard alright and then the next thing that you wanna go ahead and do is go to the audio repeater uh, which is another uh, shortcut that I set out here you double click it and you get something like this all right now this is an example uh, just to show you how I did it but I already have two other ones w which is letting me actually do this video all right so I'm gonna go ahead and um, open the other ones up so that's the first one and that's the second one what I did here was on and the reason I brought this one out is because it shows you the drop down uh, buttons um, on this one I have virtual cable one as the wave in and as the wave out I have my inbox two and if you cannot see that this is why I brought this window up alright so you drop down uh, you go to virtual cable one you select that alright and then um, you go to the out and you select inbox two what that tells the program is that you want to use this virtual cable one and you want to whatever sound is going through that virtual cable you want it to come out out of the inbox alright and then um, once you do that there's a uh, there's a button over here at the lower right corner uh, it's a start as you can see the ones that I have running the one right here this one and this one you see the uh, some movement going on but this one says stop and this one says stop as well uh, that's because they're obviously running right now and this is letting me uh, letting me talk to you guys right now alright so I'm not gonna stop it alright so once you've done that for the first one virtual cable one to inbox two and now what I uh, that basically gets um, you know that sets that up for whatever you want to go ahead and uh, get the sound of now the other one has inbox 2 in as the wave in and as the wave out is virtual cable 1 so for example I have the inbox in and instead of the inbox out I went ahead and used the virtual cable what that what I'm telling the program is that I'm telling the program that the inbox one which is my microphone uh, I want that to be in the virtual cable one so now now I have my vocals going into the virtual cable one and I also have whatever sound uh, or whatever program uh, sound coming into the virtual cable for whatever program coming out the inbox so 
I have my microphone coming out the inbox because it's connected to the virtual cable one. The virtual cable one is going out the inbox, therefore I can hear myself <clears throat> uh, speaking and I can also hear whatever else I want to hear. Now whatever else I want to hear, I'm going to minimize them, minimize this as well. Um, I use FL Studio. A lot of producers, upcoming producers, use this DAW, which is a digital audio workstation. Um, so I actually opened it up just to show you that it's real. You dig? All right. So basically, I had this going on. And what I went ahead and did, even though I had a Pro Tools already running, uh, what you want to do is go to Options. Uh, once you go to Options, you go to Audio Settings, which is what I'm doing. And on the Input and Output, you want to go ahead and choose Virtual Cable 1. Basically, that's telling FL Studio whatever is coming out FL Studio is going to come out or in out of the virtual cable all right so I'm gonna close this uh, instance or uh, of Pro Tools I'm, I'm sorry Pro Tools FL Studio I'm gonna close that simply because I already have one open with the actual project that I'm working on is not finished at all uh, but this is just an example all right so um, if I didn't have it on for instance if I had inbox 2 well at least I heard something um, I'm not sure if you hear it on the video or not I hear something though primary sound okay there you go on primary sound I didn't get anything and that the primary sound driver is supposed to go ahead and what the fuck was that uh, you're supposed to hear everything from the computer or such uh, but again, this tutorial is to go ahead and use the inbox. Um, so again, I, although I have an inbox two here, and I have another one, Digit Design Driver Inbox Two, you don't want to use those. You want to go ahead and use Virtual Cable One. So whatever is going to come out off of FL Studio, such as this. That's coming out of FL Studio in its entirety. You know, that's the sound that's coming off of FL Studio. So one, uh, which means that the, you know, remember, went ahead and did the virtual cable one. Virtual cable one is the in. So whatever is coming off out of FL Studio is going to come out the inbox two as in this instance then on the other one my microphone is also coming out of virtual cable one and remember virtual cable one is coming out of inbox two therefore I'm able to hear my voice alright so there you go guys if you want to go ahead and use a program such as Bandicam which is this um, you go to video you go to settings and then on the sound you want to have record sound you want to have it checked and on the primary sound device you also want to have virtual cable one alright so I'm gonna cancel I'm gonna lower that down and that's basically it if you guys have any questions, you can definitely go ahead and reach me at Free on the Frozen on Twitter. You can also uh, follow me on, on Twitter. You can also subscribe to this uh, channel of mine. I'm going to drop different types of things, either music, um, tutorials, um, commentaries, and such. Again, you can definitely reach me some way, somehow. Twitter might be the easiest way. YouTube, you can subscribe and like this video if he, if it helped you out hopefully it did uh, and that's basically about it guys yeah have a good day peace